Hey there, it's Bobby Legs, and welcome to another episode of Bobby Legs Loves Watches. And today, I will be reviewing the Synchron Military. Now, let's take a look at the Synchron Military. Now, if this watch looks familiar to you, it definitely reminds me of, of Doxa a lot, right? And there's a good reason for it. Now, this is the new iteration of Synchron releasing the Synchron Military, but the previous iteration of Synchron at one point owned Doxa. So this watch is taking some inspiration, the new iteration of the company is taking some inspiration from a rare 1970s model, the Doxa Army. Uh, so let's jump right into the specs. We have a 42 millimeter case diameter, a 45 millimeter lug to lug, 14 millimeter case thickness, and you got a pretty flat sapphire crystal there. 20 millimeter lug width, 300 meter water resistance, screw down crown. Now, if you notice, this is a PVD case. There were 500 of these made. 250 were stainless steel and 250 were PVD cases. And this is an overview because uh, I don't think you can get these new. You can probably, you can definitely get them in the secondary market. Uh, at the time, the pre-order of this was around $990. And then the full regular pricing was $1,290. This one came with a black ISO frame, uh, rubber strap, excellent, excellent strap, uh, black PVD buckle here as well. This is powered by the uh, ETA 2824, which has about 30, 20, 38 hours of power reserve. It's 25 joule, 28,800 beats per hour, a real workhorse movement. Luminous sapphire insert in the bezel, uh, really audible, right? Loud action here with the bezel action, and it's very, very crisp. And, and I, I'm gonna put a link to a great article by Fratello Watches in here that gives you a history of Synchron and Doxa. And they describe the bezel action as toothy and and I get it. I mean, it does sound, sound very, very, uh, or feels very, very toothy. Um, sapphire crystal, like I mentioned, uh, printed dial with Super Lumina, Luminova applied on the indices. Look at these excellent hands. I mean, these orange uh, hands that really get your attention that our hand is is bulbous right i mean it's like a bulbous point there um and uh, and then you have this long um baton like with a with a point for the second hand and, and hefty amount of loom allocated in the center of these hands and this great little um arrowhead here uh, on the second hand with a, with a black stem uh no counterbalance so that's always a little odd when i see that right but uh but it is what it is uh, three o'clock date window for the date. Uh, the 2824 has that complication in it. Synchron automatic written right in between the 10 and 11 o'clock spot. Military uh, in the center of the dial, sort of between the three and the four o'clock spot. Let's see. Let's take a feel and see how this winds. Unscrew. Nice little pop here. Very smooth, smooth um, action here with the winding. It does, there is some resistance and that is good and makes you know that it's there, right? And then you pull out that first spot to change the date um, and then that last spot to change the, the time there. And it does hack as you can see. So let's screw that back down. Uh, so like I mentioned, you know, this is inspired by that 70s Doxa Army. So, you know, it's interesting, is it an homage watch? I mean, Synchron at one point owned Doxa. Yes, this is not the same company per se. Uh, it is the second iteration, just started back about a year or two ago. And this is one of their releases here. Let's put this on wrist. Now I have a six and three quarter inch wrist. And this watch sits so well on top of my wrist. Uh, I have, um, I think you know a watch like this will probably fit most wrists um, six inches, you know, around. I mean, because the lug to lug is only forty-five 
millimeters. So uh, it's going to fit a lot of wrists. And it's, you know, that's awesome because this is such a, a great little design. Uh, I always find these Doxa and Doxa style watches. I mean, I when I mean Doxa style, I did do a review on an Aqua Diver uh, recently. And, um, and that style watch, you know, this one and the Aqua Diver, let's get a weight here. Um, I'm getting 132 uh, grams. Uh, that style of watch really fits nicely on my wrist and it doesn't feel too top heavy. It is 14 millimeters thick, but it is a 300 meter diver. Um, but I just feel like the weight is uh, distributed very, very evenly because you do have this, you know, relatively flat, wide surface here. So I think it's not going to be a problem for a lot of people. Um, it's just if you prefer a PVD case or not. Um, you can find these on a secondary market for sure. Uh, now, is it? Uh, I started saying, is this an homage watch or or or, or is it not? You know, I don't know. Um, that I will leave you to decide. Um, you know, Synchron did own Doxa at one point. Uh, are we going to give that to them based on the technicality? Um, I don't know. It looks a whole lot like a Doxa to me. Doxa kind of cornered this look for me. So to me, this uh, is trying to look like a Doxa, but again, um, you know, it's up to you uh, how you feel about it. I know I just opened up a can of worms and I didn't mean to open up a can of worms. Um, and I'm sure there's people who know the history of Synchron way better than me who are probably shaking their fists at the screen right now, um, but it is what it is, guys. Uh, you can read up all on the history of it at that and the link that I'm going to put in below. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. I, I like it. I like it. Um, I think it's a fun watch. I'm not a huge PVD case guy, but this is okay. I mean, I, I think I'm starting to come around with PVD cases anyway, because I did get Mrs. Legs a PVD coated 856 is in UTC and I, and I really dig it a lot too. But I think it matches very, very nicely with this isoprene strap. You can put this on a NATO and other rubber straps for sure. Uh, that shouldn't be a problem. I don't know if you're gonna be able to find a bracelet for it. Uh, maybe you can, um, but um, you know, a bracelet with a nice little beads of rice bracelet uh, would go with this uh, very, very nicely. Anyway, again, Put in the comments below. Let me think of. Uh, let me know what you think about this watch, and I'll see you guys in the next video. If my channel is new to you and you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and click that bell icon to get updates when I upload new videos. I love making these videos, and I hope you like them too. And also, if you want to support the channel, please buy me a cup of coffee. The link is in the description. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.